Okay, so I wanted to give, like, a rough rundown of, like, how fucked my factory is right now. So, here's my hub. Here's my little crafting workshop. My ma'am. My awesome shop so I can get more things. I really need these. Oh, if I want to get those. Well, my ticket machine's all the way up there in all of this. Um, over here is the copper, which is somewhat neat. But it's mostly just like, because it's laid out, oh lord, that was what, it's because it's just laid out super straight like this. And, uh, well, I'm in, I'm enjoying it. What I got here, very clean, I know where everything is, and I sort of am pulling off some of them to go into over here, right? So this is, I'm making sure that I'm getting copper tubing, I'm making sure that I'm getting wiring, and all that, so... All of this is going to be plugging into over here. But if you've ever played Satisfactory, you know that you start with iron, which you can see is right over here. These originally fed into a smelting area right along here. That is no longer the case. The smelting area is now over here. So I mine from over there. God, this, this base is a mess. And over there. Over there comes up right here. Boom, goes into this. Any and all iron ore goes into this and then from here works its way down <laughs> into that where it and then begins feeding into this line or this line this line however is not powered which is an issue but I do believe which actually I am able to take this down. So I just wanted to have them on the same level. For the longest time, they were above each other. And now they're not, which is kind of a relief. So if I were to hop down here, that's not it. This is full of iron. This is my mass iron smelting area. All of my iron goes through here. All I need to do is just turn this on and I will effectively double what I already have. But as you can plainly see, it's already very, very big. There's my tractor. I am already outputting enough iron that all the iron goes into this. This is now full. All the iron then leaves and goes onto two separate tracks. One over here that goes into one part of my iron factory, and then one that goes over here to the other part of the iron factory. Then this is it. So my iron factories do a couple of things. Pipes to nails and plates and whatnot. The first thing that they make over here is reinforced iron plates, which I actually need some. That's why I left my, my new construction project over there, is I need plates. But my plates automatically go into this thing. This thing needs rotors. Why is it not getting any rotors? Why are you not getting... Why are you not making any? Oh, you're not getting enough screws. Why aren't you getting enough screws? What's happening up there? Well, I guess that's a good reason to fucking... <laughs> to uh, go up there. Over there is where my... Uh, this is where I have a coal line, an iron mine, coming into here. Um, a foundry is at the coal deposit to make steel, and then we run it all the way over here to make steel to make steel beams. Then we come up here. We have all of our steel running around up here. Steel pipes and this go into here to make the stators. Alright, so what is what is wrong? Why you guys aren't getting any iron ingots? Why? Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot. I uh That is the thing I did. So before what some of the iron smelting would come off this and go up there. So now I need to kind of I don't know how to fix that. I guess. This is literally how my factory was done for the longest time. So we just put it as close as we can, I guess. 
and then conveyor lift mark three. It up. Not high enough. Conveyor lift mark three. It up. Can't make it. Ah, oh, now I gotta get up there again somehow. This is such a fucking hassle. Okay, I see the issue. Doesn't like that. Okay. Hmm. Can't get it on that. That's the best I'm gonna get, honestly, which is very unfortunate. So what I'm gonna do. This is a little, I think I'm gonna do one of these. It still doesn't like that, okay. What about if I were to do I'm eventually gonna like scrap this, so I just need an in-between thing right now. And there we go. Now the eye now it flows back, and now I can hardly see because of the light. So these up here were effectively something that turn, turns our, I ha, I knew, I figured out the output of these. These make 15, um, turn 15 iron into 15 iron rods, but these only need 10. So I would have two making 30, split them up into three, so 10 each and making all of my screws. That's how I got all my screws down uh, throughout my factory. But as you can tell, I feel like giving a full tour is not even necessary because of how fucked this factory is. It is so cobbled together in such a haphazard way that something goes wrong, I fix it like that. There's literally nothing I can possibly do <laughs> to make this an efficient factory without completely tearing it down. Look at how I'm getting... D look look at this this is one of my one of my splitters for the screws this this is this is how it is and then look at this oh fuck all right well i guess i should show the uh ah, it's probably it's probably fine. it is not fine it's not fine because i need to turn the other power thing on I want to drive this piece of shit. Okay. So yeah, that shit wasn't being used for the longest time, but now it's being used. So now a fair amount of my factory needs power that it otherwise never needed. So now I need to go over here to my coal factory, which needed to be located at a water source. So this is it. Very nice. Cannot wait until I am actually uh, doing all right. How are you, how is all of my water doing? Okay, so one th first things first is I need to do this. Is I need to connect this back because I need to turn this on. So I never turned this on purely because the water um, down here isn't consistent. Um, I have these three water pumps, four actually, but the throughput of the water pipes is not nearly enough, which is why I have these two giant ballast tanks here to maintain the constant water pressure to one of these. So this is effectively a reserve generator that I have on the side here because it can't maintain uh, uh, receiving 45 cubic meters of water because 
these pumps th with the throughput, I think it's like 300, but I have seven here and each of them need 45. So the math doesn't add up. So occasionally I just take this off and then don't have this on. But with this on, it will be fine. And now my max consumption is way up here. Uh, my capacity is now 512, which is very nice. Um, very tempted to put a power shard into one of my factories. Purely for uh, better, uh, just for overclock. Yeah. Don't know if that'll work, but whatever. By the time this, the water issue becomes an, ish, an issue again, I'll probably be done with fixing my iron. But, it brings me on to my, ne my next issue of, it's so bad. Like looking at my factory from this distance, you can see that there's so much going on that is effective waste. There's no, like the efficiency isn't there, which is what this is to work on. There are some melters that, and then on top of that, there's constructors. This is a proper, that, that this is pro, this is a uh, proper way of going about things. Run out? Of course I haven't run out, dude. Yeah. But yeah. Back to what I originally said is I want to get up to my ticket machine, which is all the way over there. This is how I have to get up here because there is actually no clear, coherent way to get up here. But now print one ticket because this thing is not receiving that much stuff as of now. I just, I was at a point feeding it this because this stuff is smart plating that I currently can't use. So yeah, this thing is not even full though. So yeah, I don't know what to throw into that up there to make it uh, um, worthwhile. This is starting to catch up on screws though, which is good. I love to see it. I like how I have screw production here. And then I think I redid screw production right above here where these rods are going. And now I'm making motors over here. These motors should honestly be ran up to it just because like that'd, that'd be a uh, better investment. But yeah, that brings me to this Admittedly cleaner, but just more monolithic looking thing that I have going on here. So this is dreadfully massive. It is going to have these three things. It's This is a single factory for three things. It's just those three. And holy fuck, I, I struggle to get up and down this thing. I was on top of this thing for a while without a need to get... Uh, back up and now the meta point again where I need to get up so yeah and now we're building constructors over there which is why I needed to go grab my reinforced plates because yeah now I'm building constructors so effectively what's gonna be happening is I'm running ore in a very compact uh, area on the ground rather than having it sprawled out over all of this to make a bunch of basic things. What I'm doing is I'm going to be running it down from here. Maybe if I could just. All right, I guess I'm going to have to do this. So my smelters are here. Four smelters, right? From right down in here. Where all of my ore will be coming up. From those three miners there. This just needs a throughput of 250, I believe, or however much is capable on these, of 120 effectively. However, I am running the entire thing on Mark 3s because these are easier to come by. It's easier to make these steel bars than these steel plates for whatever reason, just because of how. Reinforced steel plates is just a, a bitch and a half to make, so. 
And I just realized the mistake I made right here. So, what I'm gonna do is this again. So, so what I ended up having to do is that now you can see I can place this splitter. Boom, boom. There we go. Now I just gotta get all the way back up again. Except that. Okay, now they're both running. So now, if I were to go up to this and bring up any of this coal, it'd be fine. And now I would be able to just bring it up and bring it to each one of these conveyor doors because each one of these conveyor doors are going to be wrapped up like this. And then, you, could, you probably guessed it, what I'm going to probably do is just this. And then this doesn't need conveyor belts because this is just acting as a conveyor belt. So, what I ended up doing is this. I just need to get up on this side of it very precariously. Very, It's, uh, it's super precarious. Doing literally anything on this thing because of how fucking high up it is. So this is it. This is effectively what I'm doing. Oh my god. And but look at this. Doing all this for what is effectively that first floor there. This is actually fuck this this is actually insane. Although I would much rather do things vertically like this because as you can see how much space my factory currently takes up is fucking absurd. So what I'm, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do this for copper as well. Probably going to end up doing this for a foundry setup, um, uh, for reinforced steel plates, all that, because something like this is exponentially cleaner and it's super modular as well because, and this is the main reason for me doing it is this, ow. When I'm back down on the ground, you'll see this. If I were to put anything in this, say this, boom. Now they're coming out right here. I could see what it is. There we go. So it'll just come out here. And if I need to, I can run that elsewhere. However, um, from what I could tell, and I'm following this is from a guide online, I've not really tinkered with it too too much outside of just making it easier for me to do it because dude who made it used mods and i'm not tip i'm not really using mods that is the big thing that uh is very this is this is just a lot